Hello everyone and welcome to this. This is the shed with a computer in it. This is where I can work if I want, um, if I ever do work. Um, hello, I'm King Blacktooth in the flesh and um, I'm here to talk about Evo, Evo 2012, which is now over, and the future of my channel. Um, first we'll talk about Evo, because that's what I said I'd talk about first. Um, yeah, I watched them all from Soul Calibur in the morning and uh, all the way up to Arcade Edition at the end and that was like 8 o'clock in, in the morning for me So, uh, but I stayed up for it, I don't know if it still shows um, but I enjoyed it, it's gotten better since last year always does seem to get better, I've only watched it I think 2 or 3 years on the trot um, but I thought on the whole all the commentators were very good uh, I enjoyed their commentaries, they were very, they, they told me what I needed to know, it's very good. Um, I thought Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom 3 was the best showing, um, it had a lot of hype, the, the audience were very good, um, and uh, they had some very, a lot of close matches actually, uh, like Infrit vs Filipino Champ, that was very close, uh, good players, both of them, Filipino Champ has been getting a lot of hate, I don't know where that comes from, I'm, I haven't followed him as a person, um, but I, I, I like, I've never played Ultimate Marvel vs Capcom, but I'd want to get into it, it's something I've ordered, I ordered it two months ago, uh, and then n now they tell me, oh it's cancelled, it was £15, so I thought, okay, deal, um, but they said it's cancelled, they didn't have the stock at that price, but I can order it at the new price of £22, so that's still a good deal, compared, it's normally still about £40, um, so I bought it, but it's going to take another month to get here, because I really want to get into it. Um, Evo is one of the places that I do want to try and get to next year, for 2013, you know what next year is. <laughs> um, well, I'm going for Arcade Edition, everyone probably knows me as Blacktooth the Goken. Um, I hope you enjoy me <laughs> when I play him. Um, but yeah, I want to get to Marvel vs. Capcom, I think I'd actually be absolutely rubbish at it. Um, I played Blaz Blue from the history of Blaz Blue. Um, it didn't agree with me whatsoever. I was absolutely rubbish at instant air dashes and stuff, and that seems to be quite similar. I play on a pad, you see, um, which is not impossible on a pad, but my thumbs don't bend that way and stuff. Um, but anyway, back to Evo. Uh, Arcade Edition I thought was good, interesting, but I didn't think it had as much hype as Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom. If you're talking about figures, you know, how many in the little. Uh, how many viewers it had at the time. It had 70,000, 75. Ultron Marvel vs. Capcom was nearing 95,000 or something. Not that that matters, but um, there were a lot of the UK people who had probably gone to sleep at 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, I hadn't because I'm cool. Um, but um, it did seem like a lot of the arcade edition was one way or the other in terms of who won the fight. There was never many close matches, at least in the top eight. Uh, you've got like Diago, um, Punko, PR Barrow, they all can get their offence going against the opponent they had. Uh, infiltration, usually, was the culprit of many of these things. He made Akuma seem really, really good, which he is. I think he's the best character in the game. You played Goken as well, I play Goken. Um, <laughs> but I don't think you can play Goken up to the, to the win, to be honest. I mean, I'd like to think it's possible, but do you have the balls? to try, you see. I mean, you get one shot per year to win Evo, and do you want to risk it on Goken? I'm not sure, you know, if I went, I, I'd probably bottle out. I don't know, I don't know any, know any of the characters though. Um, but yeah, it didn't seem to have the hype factor attached to it, even though it was still quite interesting to see. A lot of people weren't there. Um, I saw Dominion's Guile versus Adon. That must be a son of a bitch of a matchup for Guile. Um, but he did some really good stuff. I liked it. It's just that I don't think Guile is the best. Adon just <laughs> had him all around the town. Um, I think that kind of proves that you need maybe two characters if you go mid-tier. One to subvert the weaknesses of the other, if you know what I mean. Um, so like Goken, you can't just play Goken. I think you need someone who's a bit of a rushdown character. Infiltration went for Goken and Akuma, which are kind of similar. You might probably be able to defeat Guile with Akuma, to be honest, but... Fair dues, fair dues. Um, yeah, and I watched Mortal Kombat. I, I did like Mortal Kombat. I still do like it, but um, I don't like the online portion, the competitive play. It's always Cabal, Melina, Fei, not Fei Long, Kung Lao, 
and they're all top tiers. I used to play Baraka, and uh, he was quite a low tier character, and Shang Tsung. <laughs> Shang Tsung is a character that is good when you know everyone else, because then you can seal their soul, steal it, and then become them and get a damage increase. So you're like Kung Lao plus one, if you know what I mean. It's, it's really good. But, you know, he hasn't got the options to get out of mix up very easily and such. No, not much armor thing. He's got one armor. But anyway, um, so I didn't like the Mortal Kombat because uh, it was all uh, Cabal. He's, he's super crazy. But I did like Evo overall. I want to try and get there for next year, like I've said. Um, I, think, I think that's about it. Virtual Fighter, Soul Calibur. I don't follow these games. King of Fighters. Um, and so the future of my channel, I think. I, I may go back to Evo. I'm not sure if I remember something. Um, but the future of my channel would be... I haven't done any Goken stuff for a couple of days, as you've probably have seen. Uh, it's been because of Evo. <laughs> Evo should keep you satisfied for Street Fighter, so I thought I'd catch up on my Rayman Origins, as you probably noticed. Or, or not, because not many people watch it. Everyone who subscribed to me mostly wants Goken. Um, but I am trying to get into Let's Play, as you might have noticed again. Um, and I'm going for uh, Rayman Origins, because it's a fun game, it's a really fun game. But I don't know if I'm very good at commentating, I probably am not the best. Uh, I try my best to keep it funny and entertaining, uh, and I hope it shows. I'm hoping that even if I get them out there, you guys might not enjoy them, but if I get more popular, people might go back to the archive of uh, Rayman Origins and watch through them, you know? I don't know what game I'm going to go on to next, because I'm going to continue doing Let's Play, but I am going to continue doing Goku and stuff as well. Uh, I, may, I don't know whether to choose a different character, because if I really want to get serious about winning EVO, I know everybody wants to win EVO. Oh, I'm going to go to EVO today, and, well not today, next year, and I'm going to win. Um, if I want to get serious, I probably need a second character, and um, if I'm getting serious about Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom, you probably need a, a certain set of characters to win that, but I haven't chosen, I mean, that, that'll be in a month when it comes, I'll figure out what I want to do with that. Um, but, yeah, I don't know what game I'm going to do next for my Let's Play. I consider doing Rome Total War because they announced number two. Ooh, yeah, number two, that's going to be good. Uh, I really enjoy the game, but I think it'll make a really boring Let's Play because a lot of it is on the economic campaign map. You're moving characters around and I've got to talk and there's not much to talk about apart from, oh, I'm building this and building this and building this. Uh, but then, you, I mean, you've got the option of talking absolute shit, which is what I'm doing now, but I'm probably not the best at that, keeping it funny as well. Um, and, and then there's battles, and you have to try and get your videos into 10 minutes, 20 minutes. You can go up to hours, but people probably won't watch that long. And so I thought that I wouldn't do that game. I thought about doing Uplink, if you ever played that. It's a really old game. Uh, it's about hacking, or the idea of hacking was really cool back in the 90s with the film Swordfish. I don't know if you remember that. Back in the 90s, I remember, I really wanted to hack. But this is like a, not modern day hacking, this is... You know, the idea of hacking is, is it's quite fun and it's quite short and it's quite sandboxy in a way. So I thought, <clears throat> yeah, maybe I should have a go on that and let's play that because that might be interesting. The problem is I don't think many people will be looking for Uplink on the uh, YouTube, if you know what I mean. So maybe I should play a high, uh, a really popular game to get loads of views. But I'm not that kind of person, so I, don't, I probably won't do that. Um, I'm doing a Warcraft thing. It's not me playing through Warcraft or anything like that. I'm doing the story of Warcraft and how it relates to uh, the, the established story now. So hopefully that would be quite interesting. It would be like one uh, compiled, edited thing. Uh, oops, uh, sorry about that. The camera ran out of uh, film. Um, film? No, this is not the 80s. This is memory. That's what they use nowadays. Memory. So the camera ran out of memory. Uh, but I'm nearly finished anyway. I just kind of wanted to say I really did enjoy Evo, I thought it was very good. Uh, my channel seems to be kind of left play, but I am sticking with Street Fighter 4. And I'll probably go into Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 when it comes, if it ever comes. <laughs> if I'm any good at it. And uh, also, I think this is what they call in the industry a vlog. So, <laughs> uh, if these are any good, then I might continue doing these. Um, if it doesn't annoy everyone. Um, but I kind of just wanted to end the video by saying thank you to you for listening and watching and for your support. Thanks for subscribing, liking, commenting and uh, I'm glad that I could entertain you with my videos of Goken and anything else I do that you happen to watch. Um, so thank you, there it is. And uh, I hope that you remain entertained for many years to come.
Uh, I think I think that's about it. Um, bye.